We all have our individual routines, right? The basic set of things that are the same basically every day. Sure, day by day, situation by situation, these plans might change, but it all follows one specific formula. And for most of us, we find comfort in this. Familiarity in a daily routine that sort of gives us a comfortable predictability to the structure of our day. But sometimes it gets a little too old. The repeated pattern of wake up, get around, go to school or work or whatever we have going on, give a few minutes for a lunch or break, come home, take care of what we need to get done in the evening, slow down for the night, and go to bed, gets, well, unbearably old. We wish for change, any break from the cycle of a normal day-to-day -day life. And sure, experiences on any given day can be different, the weather can change, or we can have holidays and events to break up the day-after-day -day pace of things. But simply, they're few and far in between. We strive to make a change, or dreadfully wish for one to come into our lives. And then there's some of us who denounce change, try to avoid it at any twist or churn that it comes to face us at all. After all, we have our routine, we know roughly what's going to happen. If we know what we'll be doing, there's no fear, and we can go about our day in comfort. The system is in place, and as mundane as it seems at times, it works, and we don't want to abandon it. Really, this just goes to show how change is such a two-way street. Sometimes we beg for it, want it so bad, and will do anything to bring it into our lives. At other times, we couldn't try to avoid it more. In the past couple years, but even more so in the past few months, I've really been mingling with the idea of change, both trying to embrace it and avoid it at the same time, even when some of it is inevitable, funnily enough. During high school, I tried to take on new things, make changes in my life in the hopes of more social opportunity or just personal development as a whole. Just for example, football was offered for the second year ever through my school last year. I had watched the sport plenty, of course, but knew little about how it actually went in practice. Regardless, to break the mold of the rest of my class being basketball obsessed, I decided to try the sport out, along with another of my classmates. There were very few of us from my school, as we partnered with a nearby school's team, but we tried our best. Despite this, getting to know my teammates, the sport, and the minimal role I played, I never felt quite like I belong. Which, admittedly, I've never felt at home in an athletic setting anyways, but I thought football would be different. The change I made, while it benefited my health physically and diversified my high school career that bit more, only cemented the worries I had with change further, along with the fears of belonging I had carried with me going into the sport. After this point, and even to this day, I've fallen into the same cycle so many others feel, where every day seems the same. Nothing is unique. Nothing changes. I wake up, work, come in, eat, shower, spend an hour or two on any given game that night, sleep, and repeat. And the thing is, the feeling only grows worse. Sure, I can distract myself for a bit, pursue passions like this when I have the time, and try to make up for the repetitive feeling, but at the end of that day, the feeling still persists. Overwhelmed by my thoughts, and often find it hard to sleep. I have no real life friends around me. I can't just go out and do something with someone and have fun. And I never get invited to outings I see others have, even when they're aware I'm not busy and have shown interest. The few online friends I have are busy with their own lives, which I completely respect and understand, but still causes me to feel lost nonetheless. As for the inevitable changes coming, I can often be skeptical about them and if they'll really improve anything, but the uncertainty is almost comforting in a way. And maybe this will all be different when I reach college, or I can hope at the least, but until then the cycle continues, and day after day I feel no different. I've been making smaller changes as I go and have tried to get out of my own head even more as I go, and slowly but surely it's been getting better, but it still prevails. Regardless, the point of this isn't to mope about my own issues, but to encourage from my own experience that change, no matter how ominous or unattainable it may seem, is a needed aspect of life but only in the right amounts and timing. Without change, life becomes stale and still, causing us to hate our situation and yearn for any break from the marching, repetitive cycle of a typical day. With too much change, present or looming on the horizon, we get overwhelmed, scared, and skeptical of what will come next. There's comfort and structure, but variety and surprise is what keeps life interesting and worth pursuing. And of course, like most things in life, introducing change and adapting to it is difficult and way easier said than done, with the majority of it coming in time. But when the opportunity presents itself, don't churn change away. 
embrace it with open arms. It could be as small as getting a different flavor of soda, or as large as moving halfway across the country to start your own life to pursue a unique job opportunity. Any change, no matter the scale, is going to aid you in life. And the more that change lasts and impacts you, the further you'll go. It might seem scary at that moment, but you'll be happy you let change into your life as soon as you did. I hope my experiences were a little helpful to you if you've listened this far. I get that change is hard to accept. I'm struggling to let it in myself, but it can surely only get better from here. As you go about life, I hope you can just keep an open mind to new experiences, as the more diversified we get, the better we can adapt to what life has to throw at us. I appreciate the amazing support I've continued to get, truly. Videos like these really allow me to express what's on my mind while hoping my experiences can be of some value to others. I can't wait to share more from my life with you all as I continue to pursue this passion of creating content, no matter how it changes. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you in the next one.